tutorial, we are going to be looking at how to remove duplicates when you have more than one column of data. It's very simple, still very similar to when you have only one column, but there are a few details that we have to pay attention to. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to point my cursor here to the first column of data, which is column A. I'm going to click on it and select all of the data. And while still holding the click, I'm going to drag it and select also column B. So I have all of my data selected. Now I'm going to point my cursor to data, click on it, and bring it all the way down to remove duplicates. So I'm going to click on it. The first thing I'm going to select is data has a header because uh, you see the first row name and surname is a header. If I don't tell the spreadsheet that this is a header, it will consider it as part of the data set and it will look for duplicates as well. And it's also important here that we select all column A and column B because I'm going to show you what happens if you select only um, a, for example. So say I tell the spreadsheet to select to analyze only column A, and I want to pay attention here uh, in row two. I know that it's gray out, but you can still read it. We have a name which is Abi Anand, and on row three we have Abi Lilu. So those are two different people. Uh, but because I'm telling the spreadsheet to look on for, to look for duplicates only in column A. It will only consider the name and it will consider it as a duplicate, so it will remove the second one. I'm going to go ahead and do it so you see the results. Click on Remove Duplicates. And you can see that it has left me only unique values, but only one Abby remained. So I'm going to undo this. I'm going to go again, Data, Remove Duplicates. Uh, select again that I have a header and if I were to do in this specific case only column B the surname because the surnames are different then it will leave the second Abby so just go ahead and do it you can see it but if you have a very large set of data you don't know what values are duplicated or not so you shouldn't risk doing this so the best way and the only way to do this correctly let's undo in this case is to go data, remove duplicates, we have a header row, and we want to look for duplicates across both columns. So they have to be exactly the same across A and B for you to consider this a duplicate. Now I click on remove duplicates, 20 duplicate rows were found, and 12 unique rows remain, okay. And you can see that I have only unique names and surnames even if one of those values are a duplicate, but they are not a duplicate across.